everyone it's Shar. welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build quite honestly i've been so inspired to build lately just because i've really wanted to work on my building skill i think it's something that i'm not very good at so i want to work on it by making my own save file which i've spoken about many times before but in today's video, I wanted to build a drive-in. And you'll notice that this build is completely different than all of my other ones, because normally in my speed build, I will go in and I will show you the entire process. And for this, I just kind of showed you the final stages. And the reason for that is, is that when I was thinking about building this build, which is a drive-in, and drive-ins were before my time. So I've never actually seen a drive-in in person. I knew that I wanted to play with the tool mod. And I had this idea and I was like, wait, double beds theoretically fit pretty well into the trunks of the debug cars. And theoretically, Sims should not really interact with debug objects. They just kind of sit there and your Sims will walk right through them as if it's not even there. And I was like, what if I built a platform? and I had stairs leading up to the platform that were hidden within the hood of the car. And your Sims should be able to walk up those stairs since they don't recognize debug items as objects. Then it will look like your Sim is just able to lay in the trunk of a car at the drive-in. I thought that would be so fun, which is why you didn't see the beginning of this build because it was literally me placing a bunch of cars and trying to figure out how to make the whole bed thing work. You'll see that some of the cars do have beds in their trunks, but that's just for aesthetic purposes because even with the tool mod, this idea does not function. And that is because there's no consistency with the live edit objects. Some objects your Sims will walk right through, but unfortunately cars aren't one of them. It prevents your Sims from interacting with anything if a car is intersecting with another object. So instead, I just went with a drive in movie theater. And because in my mind, when I think of drive ins and let me know if you've been to a drive in and it's completely different. I think of a big open field or a parking lot with a bunch of cars and movie screens, like just massive movie screens and maybe a little like food area in the back. So that's what I recreated. This lot is technically a restaurant. But truly, there is a ton of outdoor seating areas that your Sims will go to to go and watch a movie. I don't have a movie pack, so they're just watching TV. But if you have the movie pack, they will be watching a movie and they'll go and sit outside, which is why I like struggled with this restaurant, because if you'll see, it's really, really, really small because this lot is really small. I didn't want to take up a huge amount of space. As you can see, it's in Sandy Run in Newcrest, so... It's just a tube. It's essentially just a spot you go to get your burgers, get your pizza, get your fries, get your drinks, whatever it is that you're grabbing and to go back to your car. Obviously, Sims will not go to the car. The Sims is all in your imagination. That's everything that's happening. And enjoy the movie. And there's only seating inside for like five people because just in case you want to sit down while you wait it for your food. That is the only reason that is there. But I'm ultimately like pretty happy with how this turned out and aside from the little dine-in spots i put a lot of effort into the theaters well not a lot of efforts truthfully this build <laughs> was very very quick although it's somewhere that i know i will utilize quite often was these tv screens so the tv screens if you leave a tv outside and it rains in your game that tv will then break and you're gonna have to enter free build which is a cheat so you can replace the tv so I thought, is there a way for me to shelter the TV without making it look super, super weird? It obviously looks weird for a drive-in theater, but it has a certain amount of shelter over it. So that just makes it so that when you're playing The Sims, your Sims will still be able to use these TVs, to watch these TVs, have fun with them, but they won't break in inclement weather. This drive-in can be year-round. I think I've called it drive through many times in this video. I'm also pre-recording this. I'm going on a trip in the morning as we speak. So I'm recording this at night and I'm super excited. I'm going to go visit my best friend. And that is pretty much it. The rest of the things that I do in this lot have to do with 
terrain paint and with the seating area in front of the TVs, those little wooden planks that you see the Sims sitting on, so you can see that it's fully functional, is actually from high school years. It is a live edit object. And I just liked it because it made it look like they purposely created a section where people could go and watch movies if they wanted to sit up front because that's the only seating outside because the car things don't work. They're just cars, even though you can see the beds in this shot in the background that if you use your imagination or if you're built a better builder than I am and can figure out how to make that function and how to make that work, then that will be available to you. Otherwise, there are lots of little platform areas where your Sims can go and sit and lounge, relax, sit on the beanbag chairs. I do go and play test this after I stop recording. So the things that I modify is that first platform in the very front with the coffee table that I add in. That coffee table makes it not functional because Sims can't walk to the lounge chairs. So I remove that. And then the one in the back corner, um, by the little restaurant area, I removed the second lounge chair again, just because your Sims theoretically should just be able to crawl into it, but they need a square of space next to the lounge chair. So it didn't fit. But outside of that, it is a fully functional lot. You see this little cabin thing up front by the tree next to the bar area. You can see it here in this back corner. That's actually a ranger station and it functions like a ranger station. If you click on it, it gives you the option to like ask for directions and uh, take to lodging. I put it there for imagination purposes and the idea is that you walk in or you drive in to the like drive in movie theater and you grab your tickets <laughs> and that is the ticket booth. That's the spot where you can pay. But the, my other favorite part of this build was creating the menu for the restaurant. I just think that that is such a fun time. It largely serves like warm drinks, some cocktails, some juices, um, donuts, cupcakes, cheeseburgers, burgers, hot dogs, things like that. But that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know I had so much fun building it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.